Have you ever wondered how to integrate existing solar with an energy storage system? Today we're going to talk about AC coupling and we're going to dive deep into understanding the flow and mechanisms that make this work. AC coupling is a technique that we can use to deliver power from a PV inverter into an energy storage system. As energy storage systems become more prevalent and the technology becomes more sophisticated, we're having to employ multiple techniques to harness solar power into these energy storage systems. Traditionally, we use two types, DC coupled PV, AC coupled PV. DC coupled PV is a technique where we have strings of solar panels several of them in series, and we tie them directly into an AIO inverter, like an all-in-one inverter, or directly into DC-coupled ESS system. DC-coupled systems is the go-to method of power delivery for most AIO inverters and ESS systems. This technique for a long time has been used in PV string inverters. While this technique is efficient, it often limits flexibility and scalability with respect to the solar array. On the other hand, AC coupling has become an alternative way to deliver power into ESS systems. In fact, some ESS systems exclusively employ AC coupled solutions. AC coupling is emerging as a dynamic alternative, especially relevant with advanced and sophisticated ESS systems. Both methods of power delivery have their merits, but as advancements in ESS systems come into play, we're often finding that benefits of having DC coupled and AC coupled hybrid solutions are the most advantageous. Okay, let's break down how AC coupling works. Most installations have solar panels on the roof and an interactive inverter. Okay, an interactive inverter is like a grid tie inverter. These could be micro inverters, could be a string inverter, could be like a Sunny Boy or Fronius. It could be in-phase micro inverters, Hoy Miles micro inverters. These are interactive inverters. They cannot back up a home. They cannot offer energy storage at all. They, they must just produce power from the solar and dump it somewhere. Usually that's either into the house or into the grid. Now, if you want to AC couple that PV power, you can AC couple this into and in with an ESS system. And there's a lot of ways to make this ESS system see this power. If the ESS system is compatible with this type of solution and can monitor the PV production in one way or another, it can take excess energy from that PV solar array and dump it into the batteries so that energy and excess could be stored for use when there is no sun. Now a DC coupled PV array into an ESS system, like an all-in-one inverter, will typically take that PV power directly into the inverter, which it can see and control very well. And it will then decide how it wants to, to use that power and invert, supply power to the home, charge the batteries. The difference between an AC coupled system and a DC coupled system is that the AC power by default takes the priority of feeding the AC loads and then into the ESS system. A DC coupled system, you have a little bit more control over how that PV power is used. So you can decide whether you want to charge the batteries with that power or invert it to feed to loads or invert it to feed to grid. Now imagine if you combine these two things together. So if you have an AIO inverter that has the compatibility to offer AC coupling and DC coupling together, you can have full control over the DC coupled solar array and significantly offset your AC loads with AC coupled power. This makes for a very efficient system because PV inverters are incredibly efficient at taking PV power and inverting in offsetting loads. And AIO inverters or DC coupled solar is really efficient at charging batteries. And so if you have an ESS system that you have a bias on heavy AC loads, like air conditioning or pool pumps or 
whatever is a consistent load throughout the day, you can use a component of AC coupled solar and DC coupled solar to effectively maximize your system performance. These types of solutions can be used in residential, commercial, in fact, for larger utility scale ESS platforms, they're almost exclusively AC coupled because they have a huge bias on AC production. The main goal of PV power and these types of applications is to literally offset the grid. So the AC takes priority and battery charging is supplement. It is really important to note that AC coupled systems really do not work effectively if you have an ESS system and exclusively use AC coupling for zero export. If you're trying to do zero export, which means essentially you're not trying to sell power back to the grid, you're trying to do self-consumption, where you're trying to consume all your own electricity, an ESS system will have a very hard time understanding the maximum production capabilities of your PV, and so AC coupling in that solution doesn't work very well. AC coupling can be used in applications that are off-grid, but special considerations have to be made when you use AC coupling off-grid. It's very important in an off-grid application if using AC coupling that you have a major component DC coupled because the inverter system needs to be able to fully utilize the solar to be able to charge batteries. And your AC coupled component should be small and minimal, capable of offsetting your continuous loads. Scale is a very important consideration with respect to AC coupling in an off-grid application. It can be done, it can be very effective. I have a lot of clients using AC coupling combined with DC coupling in an off-grid application, but special considerations need to be made. And I highly recommend you consult with one of our engineers who can walk you down the right direction. If you're going to AC couple, this is a brand new installation, okay? And you wanna mix AC coupling, DC coupling, or you're just not sure if you wanna specifically use AC coupling with what you're trying to do. If you can, I highly recommend mixing DC coupling and AC coupling. If you have a bigger roof, you can throw, you know, 10, 20 panels on, and then you, but that's not enough for your application and you want more solar, like, you know, four panels on this roof, four panels on that roof, you've got it all broken up. That's where mixing DC coupling and AC coupling really works well, because you can take that big array, DC couple it to your ESS inverter solution. Then you can take these smaller distributed arrays using microinverters, AC couple them in, and really kind of net the most energy production from solar and control over the system. As far as the equipment's concerned, this kind of principle of DC couple and AC couple mix, we often use solutions like Solark. They're perfectly suited for this. They have the specific way of tying in AC coupling very effectively. EP Cube from Canadian Solar, there's all sorts of AIO inverter platforms that really allow you to mix the AC coupling and DC coupling together. AC couple exclusive solutions are gonna be um, all your AC battery solutions, right? So you've got like the in-phase um, AC battery solution, you've got LG Home 8 AC battery solution, Franklin and various other, you know, uh, AC battery solutions that have to be AC coupled. There's no DC coupled component to them, right? That's obviously gonna limit their use case because you have to use AC coupling with them and there are limitations with using AC coupling. All right, so I know that was a lot to take in through AC coupling, DC coupling, inverters, brands at you, concepts, off-grid, interactive, lots of terminology here that might be confusing. Don't worry. Like, we have more videos to come talking about all sorts of different concepts. We're here to help you understand different techniques, different methods of power distribution and energy management. Our team of engineers stands by to help you pick the right products and put together the right system and design for your application. We're here for you. If you want more information on these concepts, you can visit our website, go to our learning center. We have a bunch of articles talking about these different concepts. If you found this video useful, give it a like, subscribe because we're making more content, 
and we're here plugging you into solar.